When Lucas returns hungry every day from school, his parents don't know why at first, because they always make enough food for him. Lucas doesn't want to share the reason behind that. It seems that Lucas was afraid of something or someone. Lucas's parents decide to go to the principal, who also had no idea what was going on. When they asked his classmates, they revealed something no parent wanted to hear. Colleagues told his parents and principal that Lucas said he'd never received food from home. They just thought he was very poor. Lucas's parents were confused. Something must happen in the hall or on the way to school. The director promised them that he would solve this. Lucas was invited to join as well. He instantly burst into tears when they started talking about the food. But something strange happened and Lucas still felt uncomfortable talking about what was going on. He didn't want to share anything. Lucas's parents were devastated. Then one of his teachers was called and he had something very interesting to share. Recently, a substitute teacher has started acting very suspiciously around Lucas. This could be the one who made something out of Lucas's lunch. But what's his motive? The substitute teacher was called. Upon entering the principal's office, he immediately changed his attitude when he saw Lucas and his parents. He told them he had no idea what they were talking about, but he wasn't convincing. The principal spoke privately with the substitute teacher. He continued to deny that he was involved. In the meantime, another teacher came to comfort the parents. The teacher knew something was up with the substitute teacher. Also, Lucas's parents had to act. They were called back to the principal's office. However, they told them that he couldn't do anything because they didn't have proof. Lucas didn't want to tell them anything, and the teacher didn't give anything either. They had to come up with a different plan to catch him. In the following days, Lucas returned home without speaking to his parents. They still thought that the school visit didn't help at all. They had no idea what they had to do yet, but they were determined to make sure the substitute teacher paid for it. Lucas's father, Thomas, got tired of this. The next day, he decided to confront the substitute teacher, Callum, alone. He grabbed his coat and drove to school. After class, he entered the classroom. Callum was extremely surprised when Thomas entered. Callum remained calm when Thomas decided to confront him. He told Thomas it wasn't what it looked like. The conversation was brief, but also quite awkward for Thomas, leaving him with even more questions. The conversation with Callum set off alarm bells in Thomas's head. It's not that the professor had said anything particularly troubling, but he was just getting a really weird vibe from him. Thomas wasn't sure what to think, but he definitely wanted some more answers and was determined to do what he could to find out more. Callum went on to tell Thomas not to worry about it and that everything was perfectly fine with Lucas. But Thomas knew in his heart that wasn't true. He came home extremely worried. The conversation did nothing to make him feel better. In fact, he felt even worse. He googled Callum's full name and couldn't find much about him. He doesn't seem to have any social media, and he doesn't seem to be mentioned anywhere online except on the elementary school website. What could be on that site that had to do with the new professor? He was listed as one of the teachers there, but stated that he was no longer active at the school. Thomas called the school to get some information about why Callum was no longer working with them. He wanted to know more about what was going on and the reason why Callum had left the school before he was. Now, Thomas was even more worried. What the hell was this teacher doing with this little boy during dinner? Thomas directly asked Lucas if something was going on with his teacher that he needed to know. He wanted to see his reaction when he talked about Callum and he didn't like the result. Lucas looked almost scared when Thomas asked him that. He stammered that nothing was happening and that Thomas had nothing to worry about. But he definitely does. He wasn't convinced, actually. Now he was even more sure something was going on and he wanted to know what it was. But Thomas immediately realized what he was saying. Exactly the same thing as teacher Callum was saying as if he had instructed him to say so. There had to be an explanation for what was happening, but it could be something innocent. Thomas definitely didn't think so with the behavior he was witnessing from Lucas and Callum. Now Thomas was pretty sure there was something his teacher was doing that made Lucas act that way, and he was going to get to the bottom of it. But how? In fact, another parent had also noticed a change in behavior with her daughter and wanted to know if Thomas had experienced something similar with Lucas. Obviously he did. They got together to talk about what was happening to their children and what they should do about it. Together, they devised a plan to find out what his teacher was doing to their son and daughter. They had to be subtle as not only did they need to get an answer, but also proof of what was going on. Their son and daughter didn't want to say anything, and Callum wouldn't admit anything to either of them. The solution found by Nicole, the other mother, was to use a small recording device to catch the teacher in the act. They planted a recording device inside Lucas's backpack when he left for school the next day. They could hear everything that happened. 
the backpack was the perfect way to get a good sense of everything going on around Lucas. They could hear how he interacted with the bus driver and the other kids at school. They could also hear how the other teachers treated him and how he was doing in class. The recording device let them hear that Lucas was struggling in some other areas as well, and they were sure Callum was to blame, but they just weren't sure what exactly was going on. At least not until Lucas walked into the classroom with Callum and they could hear everything. Thomas was definitely not prepared for what he was about to hear. He heard Lucas enter the classroom and interact with other students, but when Callum entered the classroom, he saw something totally different than what he expected. Callum started his class in the normal way. It didn't look like anything was happening. However, the entire class was very quiet, as if they didn't dare speak to Callum. It was very strange for Thomas that everyone suddenly behaved like this. This was not the same as in the other classes. Then it happened. One of Lucas's friends asked Callum something, and his answer shook Thomas. He threw his headphones on the floor. He was going to school right away. He didn't hesitate for a second. He had to confront Callum. This wasn't right. Thomas could barely contain himself. What did he hear? Thomas jumped out of his seat. He was going to school, and Thomas made sure to take a copy of the recording with him. He decided that he would go to the director first. That was the priority. The director had the power to do something about it. He was the only one Thomas really trusted. All the way there, he wondered how he was supposed to tell the director what was going on. He was a little nervous because not everything was recorded properly. He didn't listen to the recording back. Luckily, he had it all recorded. His first priority was making sure Lucas was safe. That was the only thing he could really think about. Thomas arrived quickly at the school. He didn't inform any of the other parents. He had to do this alone. He knew that what he had done was illegal, but it was for his son's sake. Lucas is everything to him, and he would do anything to protect him at all cost. He then knocked on the principal's door. Director Paul was really confused. Thomas was out of breath and wanted to tell his story right away. He offered Thomas something to drink. He begged him to calm down. Then Thomas began to explain. Paul didn't know what to say. He wanted to hear the recording for himself. It couldn't be that something like Thomas just described was happening at his school. He didn't know Callum well. He was only here for a short time. But based on his conversations with Callum, everything seemed to be going well. Then he began to listen. Paul took his time to make sure he heard everything that was going on. He asked Thomas not to interfere and not to go anywhere until he had listened to the entire tape. At first, he didn't hear anything out of the ordinary, but suddenly his attitude changed. They had to confront Callum, but first an apology was in order. Paul apologized to Thomas because the school will not tolerate Callum's behavior. They will never tolerate that at school. This was not how they wanted to present themselves to other parents. Paul wants a safe environment for every child at his school. That was not allowed here. Thomas accompanied Paul to confront Callum about his actions, and Thomas was furious. Thomas wanted to see Callum in person, but he was told to leave it unspoken. Paul knocked on Callum's classroom door. They entered the room, and Lucas was surprised to see his father. He looked relieved to be there. Paul asked Callum if they could talk to him outside of class. Callum was really confused about what was going on, but he nodded. He had Paul explain everything he heard to Callum. Callum was shocked. He didn't know what to say at first. It looked like he wanted to cry. Thomas was surprised by this. Callum just didn't realize what he did. Callum began to explain himself to the two men. At least he tried. He treated the children very disrespectfully, which is why they didn't want to attend any of his classes. He didn't know how to properly work with children. Callum continued to stutter. He'd never worked with children before and treated them more like adults. Then the food time came. Callum looked taken aback by Lucas's lunch comments. He had no idea he had gone for this. Callum had a clear explanation for this, now that everything was on the table. Then, suddenly, Lucas walked in. Thomas had already called the police. Lucas told Paul and his father that they had nothing to worry about. They were confused. They thought they were helping Lucas, but he also had some things to say. He didn't want to talk about it because he was too sensitive. He started by explaining that he was working together with Callum on something very important, which is why he didn't want to talk to his parents about it. Thomas was now even more confused. He had to know everything. In the meantime, the police arrived. They came to ask questions, too. It was all a big mess. Thomas should never have called the police in the first place. Callum decided to answer all the police's questions about his past as well. And when they talked to Lucas alone, he decided he's going to spill the whole lunch story. He was hungry every day for a very good and wonderful reason, but he didn't want to upset anyone. Lucas was very emotional when telling the story. One day, he came to school to see Callum helping other students in his class. Lucas asked Callum what was going on, and Callum told Lucas something that triggered everything. 
The boy was very poor, never received lunch from his family. That's when Lucas told Callum he didn't need his own lunch and gave most of it away. He came up with a plan to tell everyone that Callum had thrown it away. Callum agreed that he would take the blame. They just didn't want to alarm any parents. The boy needed to feel like he's good and not weird. That's why Callum and Lucas decided to keep a low profile. They kept it secret for a long time until someone else in the class found out about the other kid. So Callum decided to play the villain. Thomas was very proud of what Lucas had done for the good of the entire school. After school, Lucas came home very happy. Thomas was relieved that his son was back to his old self. Lucas's parents decided to help the boy. Thomas decided to give Lucas two lunchboxes every day. Everyone's happy. The child never has to go hungry again. Lucas felt like the absolute hero of the day. Nobody else knew what was going on.